Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, April 29, 2024. I pray that God will be with you today and may his face shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 34, reading from verse 13 to 19. And it says, Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and deliver it them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words, and may we find comfort and peace so here we are admonished this morning that we need to keep away from evil this passage of scripture is a very encouraging one but it is also one of strong reproof it emphasizes the importance of our speech and our conduct in leading a righteous life and so it starts out by telling us that we must guard our speech we must not speak deceitfully or use harmful words we need to watch the things that we say and not just say but also say to each other because the truth is that sometimes some words that come from our mouth they have no filter and as children of god we must be careful of the things that we say and keep in mind that we are not representing ourselves and the righteousness of christ needs to be seen in our lives we are also urged that we need to turn away from evil and that we need to pursue goodness so we need to seek after peace, actively pursuing it. We need to learn to find common ground, to live peaceable, not to compromise, but to live peaceable. So you must never compromise the truth. Stand up for the truth at all times and do what is right and pleasing in God's sight. And if that should cause offense to someone, then you have no control over that. But don't go out of your way to offend others or to do anything to cause hurt or harm to anyone. Follow the Lord's examples and what He does. Keep in mind that God's eyes, they are focused very attentive on those who practice righteousness those who belong to him and he is listening for our cries he's listening to come to their rescue and to provide refuge so god cares about his people and he will not allow them to waste away to nothing that's not the god that we serve we serve a God of everlasting love, a God that will move heaven and earth to come to your rescue. And all you need to do is to ask him. That's who you serve. That's who I serve. And we need to have confidence in his ability towards us. But keep in mind that even though God 
have his focus on us and even though god promised to deliver us from our troubles and our trials and our difficulties that doesn't mean that we won't still experience trouble it doesn't mean that we won't still experience trials so trials and trouble don't void the promises of god keep that in mind the promises that he made towards us as it relates to being a protector and a deliverer it's still valid and still stand and so he will work according to his will his wonders to perform towards us and he will rescue us from harm and he will keep us secure he is our shelter in the time of storm so the essence of the passage really underscore the importance of righteous living and trusting in god's protection and his ultimate deliverance of the righteous from their troubles that's basically what this text is saying we serve a god that rule in the affairs of men but these things they only make more sense to you and to me if we are walking after the righteousness of christ okay so if we are going and living contrary to god then we are only going to reap more troubles for ourselves but those who walk with god they are secure he will protect them and that is why he says that look here that he is nigh unto them that what are broken hearted so god feel your pain and who perfect to come to your rescue god because he understands how you feel but he also gives a stern warning to say that his face are against them that do evil. And what he's going to cut off their remembrance from the earth. So it would be like they never existed. And so may we continue to trust in him. May we continue to look to him. Because one of these days, all our troubles will be over. And we will go home to live and to reign with Jesus, our King. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Amen.